Okay, everybody, welcome. How are you? Can you hear me? Pueden escucharme? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi, Hi. teacher. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Me disculpo desde ya que no puedo conectar mi cámara, pero estoy experimentando problemas con mi acceso a internet. Entonces me estoy dando, eh, pasando datos a mí mismo desde mi teléfono. Así que para no acabármelos tan rápido, no voy a estar transmitiendo video. ¿Ok? Gracias por su comprensión. Comenzamos. Just give me a moment as I get everything ready here. Okay, just a moment. Just a second, please. Here we go. Okay, I'm sharing the screen with you now. There it is. Everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Pre Intermedio Modulo 1. That's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service, and this is session 15. Today is June the 14th of 2022. Okay, I'm going to um, just, uh, I'm going to call the attendance right now. So when you hear your name, please let me know you're here. Okay, Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Presente. Thank you. Isaac Albonay Tobar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present, teacher. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Marina Amaya de Mata. I'm here, teacher. Okay. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martinez Grijalba. Present. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Present. Thank you. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Present. Thank you. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. I'm here. Thank here. you. Give me a moment, please. Okay. Um, Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Catherine. Hi, good evening. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Okay, we begin. Again, this is English Pre-Intermedio Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service, and this is session 15. Today is June the 14th of 2022 or 2022. What are we going to do? Okay, uh, we're going to have a review on the present continuous question form. Teacher, sorry, no le escucha cuando dijo. Perdón? Hola, no le escuché cuando dijo mi nombre, lo siento. Eh, sí, sí, la mencioné. Ya está, ya está su asistencia. Ok, gracias. Ok. Alexis Giovanni ya se conectó también. Ok. Sí, teacher, me arro la tarde. Ok, no problem. Ok, welcome. All right, so pressing continuous, question form. There's the affirmative 
in the negative form, okay? So you can say, I am doing, he is working, we are staying, etc. In the negative form, you say, I am not doing, he is not working, we are not staying. But what about the question form? In the question form, the subject and the verb be change places. And you say, am I doing? Is he working? Is she going? Is it doing? Are we staying? Are they staying, etc. And there are some examples. Are you feeling okay? And the person says, yes, I'm fine, thanks. Is it raining? Yes, take an umbrella. Why are you wearing a jacket? It's not cold. What's Paul doing? He's reading the newspaper. This is like, what is he doing? What is Paul doing? What are the children doing? They are watching television. What are the children doing? Is like, what are they doing? Look, there's Emma. Where is she going? And who are you waiting for? Are you waiting for Rose? Okay, just give me a moment. Intermedio uno. Esta información no se las pasé ayer, así que se la voy a pasar ahorita. Via WhatsApp. So everybody, take a look. Just a moment. Okay. What about the question form? You have to study the word order. You use first the verb be, am, is, or are, then the subject, and then the verb in ing. So is he working today? Is Paul working today? Where are they going? Where are those people going? First the verb be, then the subject, then the verb in ing. When you are using, or when you're asking, I'm sorry, yes, no questions, you can use short answers. For example, is he working today? You can say, yes, he is, or no, he's not, or no, he isn't. So the short answers are, yes, I am, yes, he is, yes, she is, yes, it is, yes, we are, yes, you are, yes, they are. In the negative form, you have, no, I'm not, no, he's not, no, she's not, no, it's not. No, we're not. No, you're not. No, they're not. Or, no, he isn't. No, she isn't. No, it isn't. No, we aren't. No, you aren't. No, they aren't. And you have some examples. Are you going now? Yes, I am. Is Paul working today? Yes, he is. Is it raining? No, it isn't. Are your friends staying at the hotel? No, they aren't. They're staying with me. So I'm sharing this with you too. Via WhatsApp. Okay, and we did this exercise, right? Are you watching it? No, you can turn it off. Are you going now? Yes, see you tomorrow. Is it raining? No, not at the moment. Are you enjoying the film? Yes, it's very funny. Is that clock working? No, it's broken. And are you waiting for a bus? No, for a taxi. So we, we completed this exercise yesterday. And also this one, question form. Look at the pictures and write the questions. What are you reading? These are information questions. Where is she going? What are you eating? Why are you crying? What are they looking at? And why is he laughing? Okay. Now, let's take a look. We have this uh, exercise right here. Okay. Uh, you have to, let's say, use the words or put the words in the right order. Is working Paul today? What is the correct form? 
I need you to unscramble the questions. Todas son preguntas. What about the first one? What is the question? I need a volunteer for this. Un voluntario, por favor. Maria Magdalena. Esto lo completamos ayer. Mm -hmm. Como repaso, veamos. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a review. Is, is Paul working today? Is Paul working today? That is correct. Very good. Thank you. Ada Veronica, number two. Okay. Buenas noches. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, what are doing the children? What are doing the children? There is a problem in the order. Uh, are... Is question. It's a question, yes. So you say, what are? What are the children doing? What are the children doing? Yeah, that is correct. What are the children doing? Thank you, Ada Veronica. Number three, volunteer, please. Voluntario. Okay, Maria Magdalena. Are you listening to me? Are you? Are, are you listening to me? Ah, are you listening to me? Correct. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Juan Antonio Bran, number four. And then Marina, number five. Where are your friends going? Where are your friends going? That is correct. Okay, very good. Marina Amaya, what about number five? Are, are you... Parents watching television. Are your parents watching television? That is correct. Thank you very much. Stephanie Brenda Lee, number six. What is Jessica cooking? What is Jessica cooking? That is correct. Very good. Number seven. A volunteer, please. Isaac. The, what are you look at me? Again, please. What are you look at me? Okay, veamos. Eh, la palabra what no está. Ah, perdón. <laughs> Where are you look at me? Okay. Dice look or looking? Microphone, please. Looking at me. Okay, what is the complete question? Why are you looking at me? Yes. Why are you looking at me? Okay, very good. Thank you very much. And the last one, Maria Magdalena. Is the bus coming? Is the bus coming? Okay, that's correct. Is the bus coming? Very good. Now, I want you to write short answers. Okay, the first one. Let's see. Are you watching TV? I need a volunteer. Short answers. Marina. And are you watching TV? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, thank you. Juan Antonio, are you wearing a watch? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, all right, good. Uh, the next one, Ada Veronica and then Jennifer Nusset. Are you eating something? No, I am not. No, I am not, okay. All right, uh, the next one, is it raining? No, I am not. Be careful, is it raining?
Who can help us with this one? ¿Quién nos ayuda con esta? Uh, Isaac. Not irisen. Again, please. Uh, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Okay, you can say no, it isn't. Okay, good. Uh, the next one, are you sitting on the floor? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, ¿quién me contestó ahí? <laughs> okay, uh, Veronica, okay. Are you sitting on the floor? No, I am not. Okay, thank you. And the last one. Recordemos siempre silenciar el micrófono cuando nuestra participación haya concluido. Marina Maya, are you feeling well? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, very good. Okay, so we completed that. Okay, now there's the pronunciation. Intonation in statements. Okay, take a good look, everybody. Intonation in statements. Listen and practice. Notice that statements usually have falling intonation. ¿Qué son los statements? Oraciones afirmativas. También negativas pueden ser statements. We have two categories. We have statements and questions. Okay, statements are affirmative and negative. Questions are questions. So notice that statements usually have falling intonation. Please listen and then we're going to practice. I'm working in Singapore. She's waiting at the bus stop. They're living at home. Okay, so you have, I'm working in Singapore. Singapore. If you notice, the intonation goes down. La entonación baja. I'm working in Singapore. Okay, she's waiting at the bus stop. Bus stop. Okay, it goes down. They're living at home. La entonación nunca sube en estas statements. No decimos, I'm working in Singapore. Okay, because that sounds like a question. It's not a question. So you say, I'm working in Singapore. She's waiting at the bus stop. They're living at home. I need a volunteer to read the first sentence, please. Who can help me read the first sentence to practice? Jennifer, and then Marjorie. I'm working in Singapore. Okay, I'm working in Singapore. Singapore. Okay. I'm working in Singapore. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Marjorie, the second sentence, please. She's waiting at the bus stop. Good, she's waiting at the bus stop. Okay, and Marina Maya, the third sentence. They're living at home. They're living at home. Okay, okay, very good. So uh, let's continue. I'm working. Now, what are we going to do? Okay, complete these phone conversations using the present continuous. Okay, using the present continuous only. Let's see. I need two volunteers for uh, conversation one. Ada Veronica and who else? Quien más? Luis Alfredo, okay. So Luis Alfredo, you begin, your A and Ada Veronica, your B. Hi, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, Luis Alfredo begins. Luis Alfredo is A. Hi, Stephanie, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Hey, Mark. I I am studying, standing Mike. in eleva, elev, eleva, ¿cómo se dice elevator. Elevator. An elevator. elevator. Hey, Mark. 
March. I am sta standing in elevator. <laughs> Sorry. I am standing in an elevator. And elevator. it's stuck. And it's stuck. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah. I wait. It's moving now. Thanks. Goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, so in the first conversation, he says, hi, Stephanie, what are you doing? And Stephanie says, hey, Mark, I am standing in an elevator and it's stuck. Está atascado, está trabado. So Mark says, oh, no, are you okay? And she says, yeah, I, uh, wait, it is moving now. Thank goodness. Gracias al cielo. Thank goodness. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation in this conversation? Any questions? No questions? Okay, then. For me, no. Okay, good. What about conversation two? I need two more, two more volunteers to read this. Two different volunteers. Two volunteers, please. Okay, Nelson Eduardo. Who else? Quien mas? Marina Amaya. Star? Okay, yeah, please. Merci. How are you enjoying enjoying your shopping trip? Marcy, how are you enjoying enjoying your shopping trip? We 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 are having a lot a lot of fun. We are having a lot of fun. Okay. Is your brother spending a lot of money? Is your brother spending a lot of money? No. Mom. He is buying only one or two things. That's all. No, mom. He is buying only one or two things. That's all. Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Nelson and Marina. Uh, do you have any questions about the vocab vocabulary, about the expressions, or maybe the pronunciation in the second conversation? Anything here? Luis Alfredo. Uh, la pronunciación de enjoying. 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 enjoying, enjoying, yes, enjoying, okay, so uh, let's continue then, there's a snapshot, okay, take a look at this, just a moment, typical families, okay, facts about the United States and facts about your country, okay, uh, we have this, typical family, some facts about the United States, what do we have here? I need a volunteer to help me read the first the first box in the home. Who can help me read the first box? Marina, and then Marjorie, you will help me with the second one. Okay, Marina. Forty-one percent. Tropical family. Uh, Fact, uh -huh. Typical uh, typical families, facts about the United States. If you help me read uh, this box right here. Uh -huh. Por Juan, uh, tanto por ciento, no sé cómo Percent. Perdón? Percent. Percent. Uh -huh. 41% of homes kept three or more televisions. Yeah, 41% of homes have three or more televisions. What about the second one? 
63% of families almost always eat dinner together. 63% of families almost always eat dinner together. Okay, nice. Thank you very much. What about uh, the second one? Okay, uh, Marjorie Marilyn. Okay, uh, 55 or 55% of mothers with young children work. 55% of mothers with young children work. And? And 78% of high school students have jobs. 78% of high school students have jobs. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you, Marjorie. What about the next one? Okay, the, the, the third box. Marina Amaya. 740% of adults between the age of 18, 35, marry. 74% of adults between the ages of 18 to 35 marry. Se casan, ¿verdad? Okay, and? 27% of adults between the age of 18, 34 live with their parents. Yeah, 27% of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents, okay? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Any questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation? The, the, the meaning of the words? Sí, cuando lleva el guión ahí, nosotros en español decimos el 74% de los adultos entre las edades de 18 a 35 se casan. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, es, en el inglés, ¿cómo decimos ahí? De, el intervalo de 18 a 35. 18 to 35. Solamente así. Two, yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. 74% of adults between the ages of 18 to 35 marry. Uh -huh. Any other questions about the vocabulary? Una otra consulta. No more questions. Okay, then now uh, it is your turn. Facts about your country. Now, what are you going to do? Porque no somos estadistas, vea, y probablemente no tenemos esta información, a menos que alguno de ustedes casualmente trabajase para, no sé, Iba a decir la Digestic, pero ya no existe. <ríe> ok, uh, si alguno de ustedes trabajara para una institución que lleva estadísticas, tal vez sepa. Pero como lo más probable es que no, veamos, eh, quiero que me den un aproximado acá, lo que usted crea que es, según lo que ha observado, lo que usted puede observar de nuestro querido país, El Salvador. So, facts about your country, facts about El Salvador. What's the percentage of homes that have three or more televisions? Volunteer, please. Marina. Um, 30% of homes have three or more televisions. 30% of homes have three or more televisions. Okay. In my house, there is only one, one television. How, how about how about your house, Marina? How many televisions are there in your house? Excuse me? How many TVs do you have? Mm, one. One only, okay. Yeah, one. Okay, one. thank you very much. Okay, a volunteer for the second one. Who can help me? A volunteer for the second piece of or the second fact. Ahí el número que usted crea. Sigo yo o otra persona. No otra persona, busquemos. Pero thank you very much. Juan Antonio Brand. 50% of families almost always eat dinner together. 
50% of families almost always eat dinner together in El Salvador. Okay, okay, we can say that. Thank yeah. you very much. No Mr. Brand, what about the third fact? Okay, you have to complete it with the number that you think is correct. Volunteer, please. ¿Qué porcentaje de madres con niños chiquitos trabajan? Okay, Ada Verónica. Eighty-eight percent of family uh, of mother with young children work. Okay. <clears throat> 88% of mothers with young children work. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's 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 a very high number. Okay, thank you, Ada. What about the next one? What's the percentage of high school students who have jobs? Alumnos de bachillerato, okay, high school students who have jobs. I will say in El Salvador, this is very, very low. Okay, Isaac Abdonai. Um, seventy-five percent of high school students have job. Seventy-five percent? Are you sure? No, I don't know. <laughs> I okay. think that. <laughs> you think so? I, I think will so. say. I will say probably in El Salvador, maybe, maybe some high school students have informal jobs. Yeah, this all. Or informal in, informal jobs, right? Because to have a formal job, you need to be 18 to make uh -huh. it legal. Uh-huh. So informally, maybe some of them have jobs informally. Okay, but formally, probably the percentage is zero, I think, but I'm not sure. Okay, but thank you, Isaac. Excuse yes. me. Yes. El, en el 2022 se hizo una encuesta sobre eso y el 84% tenían trabajo y no asistían really? al bachillerato. Pero no asistían al bachillerato. Sí, no asistían. O oh, asistencia irregular. Ah, ok. Oh my God. So that sounds like informal jobs, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Informally, yeah, they can have jobs. Andamos tan mal. Andamos tan mal, okay. <laughs> Informal jobs. Okay. So, Marina, Marina has a lot of st uh, statistical information. <laughs> That's very nice. My job is my relacionado con la educación. It's related to education. Mm -hmm. My job is related to education. No, okay. Interesting. Okay, nice, very good. Thank you for sharing that. What about the next one? Volunteer, please. Idalia. A person of adults between the age of 18 to 35 married. 80% of adults between the ages mm -hmm. of 18 to 35 eight. marry. 8% eight, eight. Eight of adults between mm -hmm. the ages of 13 to 35 marry. Okay, thank you very much. And the last one. The last one, please. Who can help us? Ada Veronica. Um, Forty percent of adults between the age 
of 18 uh, to 34 living with their parents. What is the percentage again? Um, 40% 40. 40 of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents. Okay, yeah. This is very high in El Salvador. In the United States, it's very low. Okay, but in the, in the Salvador, it's normal. Okay, thank you. All right, so we did this. Um, here we go, let's continue. Okay, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people talking about their family size using quantifiers. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación entre dos personas hablando sobre su familia usando adjetivos cuantitativos como todo, casi todo, muchos, la mayoría, no muchos, pocos, ninguno, ninguno, etc. Okay, so what is that? Take a look. Conversation. I come from a big family. Listen and practice. Okay, so I'm going to play the conversation. I want you to listen. Here we go. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mei? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, I need to volunteers to Page read this. Page 33, exercise 9. Okay, give me a second. Okay, um, let's see. We're going to go this time with Isaac and Consuelo Enriqueta. Okay, Isaac, you're Marcos. Consuelo Enriqueta, you're May Lee. Okay. Um, really? How many brothers and sisters do you have, May? Um, actually, I am an only child. Um, really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I had three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of family are small these days, but being familiar is great because you get a lot of beer that is perfect. Birthday presents. Beer that present. Okay, thank you. So Marcus says, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylee? Maylee says, actually, de hecho, I am an only child. Soy hija única. I am an only child. Marco says, really? Meili says, yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Marco says, I didn't know that. Meili says, what about you, Marcos? Marco says, I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Meili says, wow, is that typical in Peru? Marco says, not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary in this conversation? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Alguna pregunta sobre vocabulario? Maria Magdalena and then Marjorie Marilyn. Uh, what does it mean nowadays? Nowadays means in the present. Okay. That's thank the meaning you. of nowadays, in the present. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. It's like hoy en día. Okay, Marjorie, what's your question? Uh, what is the meaning uh, is my smiler smiler um, ah, smaller smaller smaller. Oh, smaller is the comparative form of small más pequeños 
A lot of families are smaller these days. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Any other question about the vocabulary or the expressions from this conversation? No more questions. Okay, then let's move on. In this lesson, participants will be exposed to quantifiers and their meanings. In esta clase, los participantes se les mostrará los adjetivos cuantitativos y sus significados. Give me a sec. All right. Here's the grammar focus, okay? Quantifiers. Take a look at that. You can use the quantifiers like this. 100%, you can say all. That's 100%. Then following, you have nearly all, casi todas, okay, nearly all. And then you have most, what is the meaning of most? What's the meaning of most? Mayoría. La mayoría, that's correct. So when you say all families, have only one child, nearly all families have only one child in China. Most families have only one child. That's China right there. Okay, so you say all families, todas las familias, nearly all families, casi todas las familias, and most families, la mayoría de familias. What about the next one? You have many, what's the meaning of many? What is the meaning of many? Muchos. Muchos or muchas. That is correct. So you say many families are smaller these days. Muchas familias ahora son más pequeñas. You have a lot of families. It's similar to many. Okay. A lot of families are smaller these days. And some families are smaller these days. What is the meaning of some? Algunas. Más que algunas, unas. Unas. Some families, pero sí puede ser algunas también. Some families are smaller these days. Unas familias o algunas familias son más pequeñas. Some families are smaller these days. And then, you know, uh, going down the chart, we have not many. Not many couples have more than one child. What is the meaning of not many? What is the meaning of not many? No muchas. No muchas. Okay. Not no muchos no muchas. Not many couples have more than one child. No muchas parejas tienen más de un hijo. Okay. Not many couples have more than one child. What about the next one? You have a few. What is the meaning of a few? Algunos. Es como unas pocas. Unas pocas. A few couples have more than one child. Unas pocas parejas tienen más de un hijo. And finally, you have few. What is the meaning of few? Algunos. Mm -mm. Pocos? Pocos o pocas. Few couples have more than one child. Pocas parejas tienen más de un hijo. Few couples have more than one child. And the last one, you have no one. Ninguno. Ninguno o nadie. Okay, yeah. that's the meaning of no one. Ada Veronica. It's, no? it's in the same. Ah, the same. Okay, so you have no one, nadie. No one gets married before the age of 18 in China. Okay, no one gets married before the age of 18. 
Okay, so those are the quantifiers. Again, you have all families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families, no, yes. Excuse me. And nobody, and, and como se usa entonces, eh, que significa lo mismo que no one. Yes. It's the same when you say nobody. Is the same as no one. Somebody is the same as someone. Everybody is the same as everyone. And anybody is the same as every, sorry, anyone. It's the same. Lo único que no one se escribe separado. Son dos palabras. Ok. No one. Mm -hmm. Es igual. Mm -hmm. Yes. No one is the same as nobody. Someone is the same as somebody. Everyone is the same as everybody. And anyone is the same as everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. What time is it? It's getting a bit late. Ah, okay. I'm going to send you this via WhatsApp. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, you have it right there. Okay, so um, here we go. <clears throat> what are we going to do right here? I want you to take a look at the scale, like all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. Rewrite these sentences using quantifiers, then compare with a partner. I am going to give you six minutes. Le voy a dar seis minutos, okay? I want you to write the sentences on your notebook. For example, I'm going to give you the first one as an example. In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. They get married very young. So you can say here, in China, a lot of women, or in China, many women get married by the age of 22, because 50% is a lot of people. Okay, so I want you to rewrite the sentences using the quantifiers on the scale that you can see on the right. So please, let's do this. I'm going to give you six minutes for you to write your sentences, and then we're going to check together. We're going to share the sentences together. Seis minutos. Let's begin. You work individually.
Okay, we're checking. Number two, in Australia, 87% of married couples have children. Volunteer, please. Zach, and then Oscar. Okay, in Australia, most married couples have children. Yeah, in Australia, most or nearly all married couples have children. Very good, thank you. Oscar, number three, in the United States, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. Uh, in the United States, um, no one, no one people vote before the age of 18. Okay, after no one, we don't say people, you just say no one. So in the United States, no one or nobody votes before the age of 18. Very good, thank you. Ada Veronica, number four, 35% of the people in Germany live alone. Many people in Germany live alone. Yeah, you can say that, okay. Some people in Germany, but many, because 35 is a big size of the population. So yeah, many people in Germany live alone or some people in Germany live alone, okay. Thank you. Marina Maya de Mata, 78% of American high school students have jobs. Most American high school students have jobs. Most American high school students have jobs. Very good. Okay, we're going to stop right there, but uh, right now I have to call the attendance. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Is Blanca Esmeralda here? Sí. Ok, thank you. No, perdón, me equivoqué. Quise decir Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Thank you very much. Ok. Um, Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Is Catherine online tonight? Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Is Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado online tonight? Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Ah, por aquí me dijo que aquí está. Ok. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. En Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to stop right here, everybody. Thank you for your participation. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Take good care. Good See night. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.